This is the day that the Lord has made. Come on, let's rejoice and be glad in it. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's Wednesday. You know what day it is. So that means it's time for the sweet hour of prayer. We invite you, my brothers and sisters, to come and join us for the next few moments as we, the people of God, go before the throne of God to make our petitions toward our God. We thank you for joining us today. You had options as to where you could have gone, but God let you hear, and because of that, we are excited. Make sure you call a neighbor, call a friend, let them know that Unity Baytown is on the air everywhere, and we are excited to have you as a part of this wonderful prayer experience. So come on in and join us, people of God. It is the sweet hour of prayer. We also ask you to do three things for us as you are tuning into this broadcast. That's number one, like the broadcast. Hit the like button. Also, comment. Let us know who you are, where you're from. Say good, good afternoon or good morning, whatever time you're watching. Just we, we love to see who you are. We like to communicate with those of you who, who are watching us. And then share. Hit the share button. Somebody may need to hear this prayer just like you're about to hear it. Somebody may need to be blessed. And so I encourage you today, don't be a selfish saint. Share this blessing with others who may need to be blessed like you're going to be blessed. So like, tag, and share. Again, welcome to the Sweet Hour of Prayer. If you have a prayer request, we invite you to submit your prayer request to the information that's on the screen right now. You can call us, email us, go to the website, or visit us on any social media platform. We'd love to connect with you and partner with you in prayer. We believe that there is power in the partnership of prayer. Also, if you have praise reports, we invite you to submit your praise reports as well. We love to hear how God has blessed people as a consequence of the saints praying for them. We believe the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. And so if this ministry of prayer has been a blessing to you and God has manifested prayer through an answer, whatever it is, no matter how great you think it is or how small you may think it is, we want to hear from you. So, if you have a praise report or a prayer request, please send it to that information that's on the screen. I want to read it. We want to shout with you. We've prayed with you. Now we want to praise with you. We believe by faith here at Unity Baytown that prayer requests do become praise reports. So, please send us your prayer request and or send us your praise reports so that we can rejoice with you and how God has answered your prayers. Amen? All right, come on in. It's the sweet hour of prayer, people of God. Welcome again to this wonderful time of prayer. We pray that again that you would like, tag, and share, uh, comment, and share. Let somebody know, hey, you may need to hear this. So tag somebody on Facebook or on YouTube. Amen? With that being said, let's go to our prayer focus on today. The Gospel of Jesus Christ recorded by Matthew. Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 11. Matthew chapter number 11. And again, welcome to the Sweet Hour Prayer. Those of you who are tuning in, God bless you. I pray that you're having a wonderful day. And if you're not, I declare it that your day will get better as this day goes forth. Matthew chapter 11. Let's start reading at verse number 28. And we'll conclude at verse number 30. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to verse 30, and we're reading from the New King James Version. You'll find these words recorded. Come to me, all you who is labor, all you who labor, sorry, <coughs> excuse me. Let me read that again. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So there's an invitation from our Lord to come and rest. Why is that so essential? Because I'm speaking to many of you right now, you are fatigued, you are tired. Uh, not just physically in your body, but mentally you're tired. Spiritually, you're tired. Psychologically, emotionally, you're drained. And you need to rest. 
And so today I declare over you in the name of Jesus that you will get rest from your tiredness. So with that being said, let's go to the throne of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We bless you. We honor you. We acknowledge, God, that you are God and God all by yourself. Aside from you, there is none other. Father, we know that we've searched all over and we couldn't find anybody. Nobody can satisfy our souls like you do. Nobody can love us. Nobody can bless us. Nobody can feed us. Nobody can provide. Nobody can save like you. We looked all over the breadth of this world, God, and we've discovered that it's always been you. You are the source of our strength. You are the strength of our life. Father, we lift our eyes to the hills where our help comes from. Knowing, God, it's in you that we live, move, and have our being. Father, on this sweet hour of prayer that we've come to you, God, we come lifting up these people who are fatigued and tired, restless, in their spirit, man, and in their bodies. Father, there, there's somebody who's watching me right now. They lay down and their body goes to sleep, but they're not resting. Oh God. There are those, my Father, who've taken vacations but didn't rest. There are some people who've taken breaks but are still tired, no rest. Father, in the name of Jesus, Please, sir, Lord, give your people rest. Some of them right now, because of rest, they're not being productive at work. They're not being productive in their family at home. They're not being productive at school. They're not being productive in ministry because they're tired. And Father, they've let people dump on them. They've let people pour trash into them, which makes them even more tired. They're not only dealing with their own issues and their own insecurities and inclinations and proclivities, but Father, they're also dealing with unnecessary people. They're allowing people to, 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 to dump on them. So Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that they would heed the invitation to come and rest. Oh God, I pray now for this person who is, who is mourning the loss of a loved one, God, and there is no rest. Strengthen them right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this woman who's always busy around the house but she never rests. I pray for this man who's always going to work, always chasing the paper, always making, always doing something, but never rests. I pray for this pastor who's watching me right now, who's so consumed with ministry that his health is failing, her health is failing. Give us rest today. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray now for this child, this young person that's watching me, that you would give them rest in their mind. Because to be honest, God, many of them who are restless are worrying. They are so consumed with the day-to-day -day operations of life and what's to come in the future, what's to come tomorrow, what's to come next week, what's to come next month. But God, knowing you like I do, I know you would never allow us it's not your will for us to be restless. It's not your will for us to be fatigued. It's not your will for us to be tired all the time. So Father, in the name of Jesus, provide rest to your people. Let them lay down and refresh their bodies. Let them lay down and refresh their minds. Let them lay down and refresh their spirits. Let them put them in a place and, and Father, I'm not asking you to harm anybody, but I am asking you put them in a place where they have no choice but to rest. God, life is not that busy that we can't rest. Thank you, Father, for showing us even in the scripture that Jesus himself took time to rest. So, God, I pray now 
that your people would be strengthened to rest. Bless us now, Father, as we move throughout the day-to-day -day operation. But Father, help us to take breaks when we need to. Help us to rest when we need to. Because God, we can't do this without you. We can't make this without you. It's in you that we live, move, and have our being. So Father, give us the rest that we need. Give us the strength that we need. Give us the peace that we need. Give us the power that we need. Give us the joy that we need. Father, I'm praying for this mother right now who's restless because her child is doing anything and everything and it's causing her to toss and turn. Father, give her rest and let her know that the same way you gave her, you allowed her to give birth to the child is the same way you control the actions of the move. That child is not out of, it, that child may be out of her reach, but he's not out of your reach. So God, give her rest today. God, look down on that marriage right now. Give it rest. Give it strength, God. I lift up this, this, this business person who's watching me now, who's restless because of projections and budgets and deadlines and meetings and employees and employers. Father, give this person rest so that when they do go to the meeting, when they do go back to work, they will be empowered enriched, strengthened, energized to do what you've assigned them to do. Father, give your people rest. Father, there are many of them who are working on the, on the battlefield. There are many of them who are working in the vineyard and they become so consumed with church work. They become so consumed with ministry that they never rest. They go to sleep. They, they watch TV trying to rest. They take pills trying to rest. They do other things trying to rest and nothing will allow them to rest. So Father, be the sleep aid. Huh? Yes, Lord. Be, be, be that rest agent that would cause them to have not just sleep, not just a vacation, but rest. So God, I thank you in advance for what you're getting ready to do. I bless you, God, because I know that you are a God who allows rest for your people. There remaineth, your word says, a rest. So Father, help us to be people who not only work hard, but rest even harder. That job is going to be there. That ministry assignment is going to be there. Those people are going to be there. And if not, Father, whatever your will is for our life, just so long as mentally we don't burn out, Physically, we don't burn out. Spiritually, we don't burn out. But that we take this moment to rest so that we can regroup, reflect, recharge, revive. Touch in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you because you allowed us the invitation to come and rest and to rest with you. For you said, take up your yoke for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. So Father, help us to walk with you and in all things God to rest like you want us to rest and we give your name the praise the honor and the glory and it is so and it cannot be otherwise in Jesus name we pray hallelujah amen amen and amen my brother and my sister I want you to rest in the Lord if you have to take a break Put your phone on, do not disturb. Shut off social media. Get away for a moment. Take a drive. Go sit somewhere by yourself and declutter, deprogram, debrief. Because God doesn't want you stressed out. Child of God, hear me. God doesn't want you stressed out, but you're not resting. You're working, but no rest. You're giving, but no rest. You're serving, but no rest. I encourage you in the, in the name of the Lord Jesus, whoever you are, man of God, woman of God, bishop, apostle, first lady, missionary, evangelist, deacon, trustee, get some rest. Let God handle the night shift. If God can't control it, you sure can't control it. 
find you a place and get you some rest. God's got everything you, you're concerned about. Gotta go. Lord's will, I'll see you tonight, 7 p.m. for Wednesday with God. Call a neighbor, call a friend. Tell them to meet us here in this sacred space at 7 p.m. May the rest of your day be the best of your day. Get some rest, people of God. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Peace and favor.